the good news is that our finally, after yes. such a miserable week, we're getting some clearing in time for Monday, Andrew. Yeah, I mean, imagine all of the buildup, and then we would have the yeah. weather that we had this past week, Monday. No, that's not going to happen. In fact, we have much better improving conditions as we had in, even today. But the weekend, next week, so much better. And not just skies, temperatures as well. It's spring. It doesn't feel like it. But give us a couple of days. All right, so we're taking a look at Philadelphia right now, where we do have a couple of showers across the area. There's not a whole lot happening other than a few dots on the windshield. We also have a couple of snowflakes up toward the Scranton area, a few of those also moving toward the Poconos. Th that said, we are going to get back into mostly sunny skies to partly cloudy skies for the first time in a while. There's a live look at Bethlehem right now, quiet on the square. Your Friday commute. Looks like this. We're going to start things off around 42 degrees at 8 o'clock with partly to mostly cloudy skies. We'll have kind of times of sun, times of a little bit more cloud cover, and temperatures in the mid to upper 40s. It feels a little bit better, though, since that wind will be dying down as well, about 5 to 10 for most of the morning hours. We get into the lunchtime hour, and while we will have a little bit more cloud cover by the middle of the day, we may also have a sprinkle or two. Temperatures in the lower 50s, chillier though just north and west. If you're in the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos today, temperatures in the 30s and 40s. Now tonight, if you're headed out the door, we will have some clearing. We'll have those winds die down around 10 to 15 out of the west, but it is a cold start to your Saturday. The morning starts off in the 30s. It does feel closer to freezing. And while we still cannot rule out a sprinkle or a rogue shower for your Saturday afternoon, most of us will once again remain dry. Tomorrow's temperatures pretty much on par with where they are now. But we are going to see some improvement. We still have this dome of cold air, but as we get closer to the end of the weekend and next week, we're starting to build up this ridge. And that, my friends, is going to allow us to get more of a southwesterly flow of air. This is the type of pattern that we haven't seen in a while. And as we continue to get through the end of next week, we're likely going to see not only 60s, but even a couple of 70s. Today, 51 degrees, a morning shower, otherwise mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, down to 37, turning chilly. And then for your Saturday, 54, mixed skies, breezy and cool. Northwest winds at around 10 to 15. 54 for your Saturday afternoon, 56 on Sunday. And look at this. We get into Monday for the eclipse. Pretty decent viewing with partly cloudy skies. Then we get into next week, and we're talking about Tuesday, 73 degrees. While we keep the warm temperatures Wednesday, Thursday, we'll also introduce your next chance of rain by the middle of next week.